trying to do is make it really easy to design and publish really custom apps. So you can take your data and make something and put a visualization layer. And the map design tools here are really just another lens to, to be able to look at your data and tell a story around, around that data. Uh, give you a sense of where we fit into the process and give you a sense of where we fit into some of the other speakers that are going to be coming up. Making a map has a couple different phases, right? There's a data collection phase, there's an analysis phase, there's a design phase, and then there's a publishing phase. We are only focusing on the design and the publishing. So you can use a host of other tools to collect the data, a host of other tools to analyze the data, but when you have the data and you want to be able to tell a specific story or look at the, look at the data and make a really custom map, this is where the Mapbox suite fits in. And, and we really see this as this, as this can, maps as this canvas for, for everything GM. And how do, you, how do you communicate that, how do you tell that story? Uh, what I want to do right now is just really walk through how to use the tool. Get really specific, make a map together very, very quickly. So everybody in this room can see what's possible and we can have some other conversations later, uh, later on throughout the day. Um, and I want to I start off talking about this tool called Tilemap. It's an open source design studio where you can take your data and start working with it and manipulating it and, and, and making a really custom map. And this is all uh, not only open source, but free in uh, one-click download, uh, install on Windows, Linux, and Mac on uh, mapbox.com forward slash pile. And we'll tweet about this, this later. Uh, but here's what it looks like. It is it's software that runs on, runs on your computer. And it's got a split, right? On one side, you have a map. On another side, you have some lightweight code. What's really exciting about this code is it makes it really easy to start changing basic colors of the map, right? What's neat about this code for some of the technical people in the room is this is CSS, the exact same code to make a website with. So now the big difference here is that you don't need somebody that went to school for you know, GIS for two years to be able to make a map. Anybody that's been hacking on a website can start becoming a map designer. And that really changes the audience and changes how you can start making some of these maps. Um, changing a base, base map like that, that's not really that interesting. What's interesting here is being able to go and add data and quickly browse your files here and say, hey, I want to be able to get any one of these specific files. So uh, these, uh, these are things like uh, CSV files, like a spreadsheet, all the way to really more geo-focused files. So people that work with data in this room will, uh, will recognize some of the names on this room. The point is, is the, the tool accepts a lot of different formats. So let's, let's just take a spreadsheet. In this case, let's take a spreadsheet of where there are different parties operating here. And load that into our tool, and click Save, and immediately we've got dots on the map. And what we can start doing here is look at the spreadsheet now inside Top Map, and start playing with some of this code. And within just a few extra lines of code, I'm able to run some analysis, change the, the actual dot size based on number of of parties operating in a specific area, and put the actual number there. Um, let's make these points interactive very quickly. I can start writing some basic sentences here, and now when I mouse over, I can say, hey, there, there are 15 organizations operating here. And so now you have all this interactivity that you can have on, on, on the weapons part of your map. And so this is, this is my map life, right? In only, what, 10 lines of code, I'm able to quickly generate a visual like this, Go up here, click export, upload, select the area, hit save. Now it's generating the map for me right on my computer, uploading it to the internet, and now I have my map layer. Here's where it gets made. I can now quickly take this and start stacking this up on top of other data. So OpenStreetMap, it's like um, it's a, it's a full base map, very similar to Google Maps, but it's all made with open data. It's like a Wikipedia of maps, and it's full worldwide coverage all block level detail. So this is this is all open data that you can have as a base layer behind your analysis layer. Um, and what's neat here is you can go in and start changing those colors, right? Maybe you want something dark, maybe you actually are trying to do some data, you know, some really specific visualizations. So you want to make the map really subtle in the background so you can change that to gray. Um, maybe terrain matters where you're working. Um, but this kind of gives you a sense of how of, of how rich some of these some of these maps can, can look like and, and what you want to have as back context. And again, this is all open data. 
Um, you can also go in and start manipulating even the terrain layer here. Uh, but this kind of design control really matters. Design of the actual base map really matters. But let's go back to our example here. Um, again, because we, we just made those red dots, let's make a, make a really subtle map here. I want it gray. I can go then click add layer. Here's a map that I just designed and uploaded. And now, now we have all of our data fully on, on the map here. Like, click save and publish and can grab it, a drop-in code just like a YouTube video and put it on my website. Um, for the developers in the room, there's excellent, uh, there's a fully open uh, API that you can use. Uh, great documentation with examples and then code snippets below. And then um, really good help text to get started. Also for mobile folks in the room, there's a fully open source iOS SDK and there's uh, some work starting to happen on, uh, on Android. So uh, thank you very much. I'm gonna be around this afternoon. So people with data that wanna talk about how easy it is to start loading this in, I'd be really excited to talk to them again uh, tomorrow. So thank you very much.